It's the IamFritz.com video blog, now in laminated 3D, sealed for your protection. Hi, I am Fritz, the IamFritz.com video blog. Be sure to like and subscribe um, before because you don't know what's coming and you can always regret it later. Um, I, as many of you know, I've been actually doing this for several years off and on. I had some success I experimented with the uh, animation me. Now you might recognize it, but I experimented with the animation me and the animation, the little 2D animated me did not seem to garner much more, many more followers. And it took a lot of time and effort. I had to write out the script. I had to write out the anime. I didn't have to write the animation, but I had to go back and edit the animation because the character, the face reader, the face reader was not all that accurate. And it looked like I was laughing whenever I would talk about someone's death. And really I was going, not a smile. I don't know why it said that was smiling. Anyways, i um, like to talk about a few things that were going on this week. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, Chinese spy balloon first. I mean, you guys kind of know me. I'm into the military aviation, the military armor, and I've and I also follow some of the um, intelligence gathering, reconnoitering, reconnaissance, aviation satellites a little bit. And I can tell you, that was no weather balloon. Uh, there were a few websites. There's a link on Yahoo or ABC or some, I don't know. I go through so many things, so many websites that I, I don't bother keeping track of. I think it's the intent, the idea, the intelligence that is mine that I'm seeking to convey here. So the issue at hand is this. It was a big balloon, and underneath the big balloon were two huge solar panels. All a weather balloon does is say, I'm here, it's this temperature. I'm here, I'm here, it's this temperature. I'm here, it's this temperature. I'm here, it's this temperature. Okay, I'm here, I'm being blown this way. The temperature is this, the humidity is this. It, 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 require, it records a handful of simple, <sighs> very boring bits of information and um, therefore, it does not need huge solar panels or huge antenna farms underneath it to um, pass on that information. It, you know, it just gathers a, a handful of data and passes them on to the whoever it's reporting it to. This balloon had enormous solar panels. It had antenna farms on it. Um, it was floating up high, and uh, my 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 take on it is that that was a spy balloon. It was harvesting information and probably beaming it off to a satellite above it. Maybe not directly above it, but off to the side because balloon side. If it was just transmitting from the below part. So I suppose my head is the balloon and this is the package. Then it would have to transmit possibly that way and that way because my head is like a balloon. Uh, or perhaps there was an antenna up here like this that the Chinese satellite was able to transmit its data directly to a satellite. But anyways, it was definitely, I would bet the farm that that thing was, ooh, I like that, that that thing was a spy satellite. Um, now, yes, of course, we were tracking it. I mean, the, 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 the radars, um, up along, the up in Canada and Alaska and along the <sighs> Northern command, I mean, not one of the more exciting jobs you can get in the Air Force, obviously, but, um, they're very high tech. The primary purpose of those huge radars that we have up in Alaska and Canada and North America are to detect bombers and cruise missiles. Cruise missiles are can be stealthy and those big building size radars are designed to detect 
stealthy objects coming in, whether it be stealthy fighters, stealthy cruise missiles, whatever. They saw them. Of course they were tracking those things. Now, so this balloon comes along and it goes, walks across America and it walks across Joe Biden because there's plenty of enough evidence out there to presume that he is indeed compromised by the Chinese government. I mean, with all the with all the land that's being bought up by the Chinese around military installations and farmland that's being bought up by them, and then the farmers are kicked off. So infuriating, it makes me want to yawn. <sighs> Angry yawn. And uh, I think it was, I think that... Uh, uh, President Sleepy Joe Biden was uh, in the Chinese pocket and that he let that balloon fly across the United States. He let it go over the missile sites and the Air Force sites and the Canadian Air Force sites. It proceeded then across uh, the East Coast and it uh, went over the ocean right again, right next to some of our biggest Air Force sites. And what was that they said? They said they shot it down over the Atlantic Ocean where it would be easy to collect. I'm sorry. I'm so no, no. Ow! Come on. It's 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 in the water. It's on the coast where there are currents under the water that sweep things away. No, my gosh, no. It was not easy. That's where you. That's where you drop something if you want to lose it. I don't see how that could not be a blatant lie or a blatant act of idiocy. I, I, I cannot conceive that being anything but that. No one shoots something down over the Atlantic Ocean in the coastal regions where there are high underwater currents in the hope of being able to get it and pick it up and get the parts. No. So it was allowed to fly all the way across the United States over sensitive military installations, gather its data, being them back to China. And um, and they shot it down when its mission was done. I mean, unless it was going to go hunt submarines after that. And then in a show of power, because Joe Biden had to flex his muscle after that, um, he had to shoot down some recreational balloons. Oh my gosh, can you imagine the, the F-22 and the F-16 pilots that had to deal with that? Northern Command, this is Raptor 1. We have uh, ID identified the target and it is a recreational balloon. Say again, Raptor 1. Say again, Northern Command, it is a enjoyment balloon it is in peace it is a toy floating in the sky roger raptor two raptor one and raptor two raptor flight this is command we order you to engage and destroy the <laughs> recreational balloon this is raptor one say again northern command raptor flight this is Northern Command, CNC orders you to engage the bandit. Have you, have you thought about what that must have been like for the F-22 and the F-16 pilots shooting a $200,000 missile at a party favor? They knew what that was. Those things are, those pilots aren't stupid. They got close enough to tell. Northern Command, this is a toy. And it's not along a normal flight, a regular flight path. Anyways. Um, oh, and one thing I did forget about the, uh, the actual Chinese spy balloon that um, Biden said was that when it flew over Man Montana and Wyoming, 
He didn't want it shot down because he didn't want it to land on a school. A school. Are you kidding me? Have you been to Montana? I just know, just, no, there's, it's, 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 it's big sky country. It's all plains and mountains. There's a couple of big cities and it's a beautiful place. And if, you know, I'm not putting it down, but Wyoming, I've been through, I've driven through Wyoming a couple of times. It's no, you, no, 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 nothing's going to fall on a school. That was just an emotional ploy to people who don't think. That is the big problem in America today. I mean, I, I talk to people and I listen to people and people are just so, you don't think. I've gone around and I've listened and I've followed and I watched the news reports and I've, you know, I, I live in a pretty, I live in Portland, Oregon. It's a pretty, pretty good variety of people here. And before this, I, I, I spent some time in LA. I lived in right outside of Pittsburgh for a long time. A lot of people, and my personal estimate, my personal estimate, it's about 60% of people. 60% of people don't think. They follow. Now, in an ant colony, in a bee colony, in a herd of moose, in a herd of water buffalo, um, that's, that's, that's a... That's a um, survival mechanism to just follow because you assume that the people in the lead know what they're doing, but in an, in, in, in an environment, in a group of people like us, where people are intelligent, we have far more advanced people. We have a variety of thought. We have a variety of environments and philosophies. We build skyscrapers and everything. Um, it doesn't work. You need more thinkers. And um, I think that um, about 60% of people are just followers. I think 30% are emotional thinkers. They just, they, they hear keywords that make them angry or make them happy. And they're influenced by that. Uh, I, and I, I'll, I'll be honest, I was in that school for a while. I was in, I was in the 60% or I was a 60% or when I was a kid for a long time too. Um, But uh, the 10%, I think only about 10% of people really think, really look at the circumstances, really research, really are, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, objective. There, there's only like 10% of people who are actually objective and look at a situation. They look at pros and cons. They consider, you know, they, they have this little, thing right here that says, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? It's not everywhere. It's just right here reminding them to think things through. And that's what we need more of. And that's what especially you need it to be the other way around. You need 60% thinking, 30% emotional, and 10% followers. I think. Anyways, <sighs> this is the amfritz.com video blog. Coming live from a living room with this, a, a thing right there and a couch right here. Um, I'm going to have to learn to look at the camera more. But this is the live video thing. I'm just going to come on with ideas. I'm going to be doing this a lot more. It's kind of tough to do it during the week because I work at a dirty, dirty job. And I come home dirty, dirty. And I come home and I got kids running around and everything. So... This is the ironfruits.com video blog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to feed your turtle. Click like and subscribe and the bell wherever they are. And um, don't forget to feed your turtle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.